dinosaurs into extinction with an erupting volcano. Solve the mystery of the magic comb. Make your own mud brick mansion. And a foolproof way to find out if your friends are telling lies. I don't think any of my friends tell lies. Or do they? That story is coming up in just a minute. Honest! But first, Daniel's getting messy with mud. Mud, glorious mud. There's nothing more marvellous than messing with mud. And Carrie Ann and I are making a batch of mud pies. There, another one for our collection. But when the mud mixing is finished, it's time to get cleaned up. Hey, check this out. Our moist mud pies have baked into hard rock cakes. It must be because they've been out in the hot sun. These things have given me a great idea. Let's build a mini mud brick house. Jordan's been acting a bit weird lately. I think he's got a crush on Lara. Whenever I ask him if he does, he says no. I know how to find out the truth. Time for a little lie detecting test. Jordan, come here. I want you to take this marble and put it in one of these bowls. Then cover it up with a tea towel. I'll turn my back so I don't know where you put it. By watching Jordan's body language closely, I should be able to work out if he's lying to me. Okay, now. Which bowl is the marble in? He says it's in the blue bowl. And he looks like he's telling the truth. See how his eyes stay on mine? Let's see. Yep, blue bowl. So he wasn't lying. Try it again. Dum dee dum dee dum dee dum dee dum. Okay, Jordan. Which bowl is the marble in? Watch close. Hmm. Hmm, the blue ball again, eh? But look at his eyes. And he's covering his mouth with his hand. I think he's lying this time for sure. Aha! Uh -huh. It's in the red ball. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Most of us don't feel comfortable telling lies. When we do, there are often certain facial expressions, voice changes or body movements that give us away. A liar will often avoid eye contact, blink less, move their hands less or speak in a higher pitched, slower voice. Scientists have developed a lie detecting machine called a polygraph. It measures changes in breathing, sweat gland activity and heart rate. These are also signs that someone may not be telling the truth. Okay, Jordan, I can tell when you're lying. So give me the truth. Do you have a crush on Lara? Ew! Jordan has a crush on me! Sometimes you're better off not knowing the truth. Knowing when someone is lying would be pretty handy. Daniel's pretty handy. He's building a mansion out of this stuff. Mud. Carrie Ann and I discovered that mud pies left out in the sun harden like mud bricks. So we're going to make something solid from slop. First, we need to get down and dirty. We mix a big bucket of soil with water. A thick clay based soil works best, not too much water. To add strength to our bricks, we add a few handfuls of straw. Mix that in. <laughs> Lovely thick slop. I want to dive in there. Okay, time to pour the mud into our moulds. These are old milk cartons with the tops cut off. Scoop a whole lot in, pack it down and leave it in the sun to dry out. Let's make more. Our mud brick factory is working at top speed. We could go into the mud brick business. Now I'll just poke a hole in each one. That'll help the air settle out of the mixture. We'll leave this lot sitting in the sun for a few days to dry. Then we'll be ready to build our own mud brick mansion. <laughs> I'm all ready to go out for lunch. Better just run a car.
home for this mop. I always like to look my best. There, that's better. I borrowed China's favourite comb without asking. Better make sure I leave it clean. She hates it when I leave dandruff in it. I'll just rinse it under the tap. A bit of warm. That's strange. What's happening to the water? It looks like it's bending. But how can water bend? I wonder if this creepy comb will attract anything else. Let's try this piece of breakfast cereal. I'll hang it from a length of thread. Right, magic comb, do your stuff. Hmm, maybe it's lost its power. But where did it come from in the first place? I was combing my hair and then it worked. Let's try that again. I ran the comb through a few times. Yeah, that's it. The cereal is sticking to the comb. It must be something to do with rubbing the comb against my hair. Running a comb through hair charges it with static electricity. As negatively charged electrons in the hair cling onto the comb. Positively charged protons in the water and the cereal are attracted to the negative charge and move towards it. Uh-oh, I think I'm going to be charged with something too. The charge of comb stealing. Boy, China looks pretty unhappy about having her comb stolen. Maybe she should learn to have more fun, like Shakib and his friends. Faluk and I are babysitting today. Our little cousins have built a great sand castle. They got knights and horses. The horses are invading the castle. They're galloping across the sand. Hmm, I know. I'll make those plastic horses sound like real ones. Yes! In movies, they make horse hoof sounds with coconut shells. Up I go. Let's try it. Now, to get the seed inside. Dump it on a post. Peel off the husk. Yum! Coconut milk! Now, yes, two half shells. Now, mum's coconut grinder. And out comes a pulp. Good! And the other one. Perfect! Just like a galloping horse. Try it for look. like the real thing. As they hit each other, the coconut edges make a sharp sound. This bounces around inside, making a mixture of sounds very similar to the noises made by horses hooves pounding on a hard surface. Great horse sounds! Perfect for galloping to the castle. Well done, brave knights of the rail. <laughs> got a stegosaurus. My Jurassic jungle is nearly finished. Still something missing though. A volcano! Okay, one fully erupting mountain of doom. Nice! This is going to be one big blast. I'll put two spoons of bicarbonate of soda into this glass. There, a bit more for good luck. Now this container gets filled with vinegar. Any sort of vinegar would do. Let's add some food colouring. A few drops to give us nice red lava. A quick stir. And the mountain goes over the top. Okay, get ready you sleepy dinosaurs. You're about to be blown to extinction. Oh, the earth is shaking. The mountain is rumbling. In goes the bicarbonate of soda. And eruption time. 
Watch out for the lava flow. Bicarbonate of soda and vinegar react to make carbon dioxide gas, the same gas that bubbles in a real volcano. The gas bubbles take up much more room than the vinegar did, so they force their way out the opening in the top of the model. In a real volcano, the liquid inside is actually rock that has become so hot, it's melted and become red hot lava. As the blazing hot lava flows down from the volcano, it destroys most things in its path, but eventually it cools and turns back into rock. It's time for another eruption. Far out! This vinegar volcano is out of control! Whoa! We better find somewhere safe to escape that volcano! Maybe we can hide in Daniel's mud brick mansion! Our mud brick moulds have been baking out in the hot sun for a few days. Time to see if they're ready. Yeah, this one feels solid. They shrink slightly as the water dries up. Yup, our bricks are rock hard. They feel nice and warm. Must be from sitting out in the sun. Mud bricks like the ones Daniel and Carrie Ann have made are excellent at absorbing heat energy. They are said to have good thermal mass. In some parts of the world, people build mud brick buildings called adobe. They're comfortable to live in because the dense mud absorbs much of the sun's heat during the day, keeping the building cool. At night, the mud radiates the stored heat and keeps the building cosy and warm inside. Our mud brick mansion is all finished. Nice job, mud buddy. It looks great. Where's Carrie Ann going? Oh, looks like a doll is spending the night out here. Well, at least she'll be warm. I think Carrie Ann's doll will be nice and cosy in there tonight. Time for us to go and get cosy for the night too. We've come to the end of another show. See, See you next time. time.